but the last was in 2019. And Taylor Quinn spoke with Cat senior Fernando Beltran after the semifinals yesterday. Last year wasn't exactly the finish you wanted, placing second. How did that propel you into this year? Honestly, it can just convinced us that, you know, we need to put in more work, that we need to go into every single practice willing to do whatever coach says, whether it's doing 10 full outs every day, 15 full outs, it, it doesn't matter. We, we just decided, hey, we're going to go in there, we're going to put in the work, and we're not going to say no. We're not going to complain, and we're just going to close our mouths and do our stuff. The semifinal performance, there's still room for improvement. What were your coaches telling you? You know, there's always room for improvement, you know, whether it's a semifinals or finals. Um, today, it's just, it's the little things, you know, the timing wasn't perfect. Uh, of course, we had a mistake, but that's not something that we, we can go back and just redo. But we're going to go and try to fix it, just fit, uh, work out the little kinks, figure out what happened, watch that video, try to prevent it as much as possible and just do our normal job. You know, we've done that a million times and we can do it one more time. One of the iconic programs in college cheerleading out of Lexington, Kentucky. And wow, they always come with a difficulty. They open with double ups. Certainly a step up from what we've seen in the past. Yeah, standing fulls. They always will try to max out the difficulty. But this year, they have taken a more conservative approach to really make sure they perform a solid routine. They had a little bit of a issue there on the left. But so far, a strong start. I tell you, looking at all of the SEC teams, there's just a level of confidence when they're out there on the floor. And I think part of that is constantly being in front of massive crowds. Wow. And those full twisting rewinds to one one ones, we've never seen that perform before here at the championship. And they nailed it. It's been four years since the University of Kentucky has won a title. Last time was 2019. Kentucky is coached by Ryan O'Connor. Such an incredible tradition here at Kentucky. 24 titles, like you said, Bill. It's really a tradition of excellence and just dedication to this craft. Wow. Extended hand in hands. They slip front to their feet. It's a blind landing, makes it a lot harder. Yeah, a little trouble there on the right side of the mat. Pull up stretches, and there's nine of them. So it's not just the difficulty that we're seeing here. It's how many skills they have up in the air and how many of them are unassisted. Wow. Beautiful. The height on those double full baskets, the highest we've seen so far. University of Kentucky always has just such a dynamic, fast moving, great transition routine. They just haven't been able to put it all together out here on the final floor. But a great performance today from the Solid University ending. of Kentucky. In these opening double ups, they have to spin so much faster to make two full rotations. That's difficulty we just don't see on other teams. And these beautiful double ball basket tosses, you have to get them so high to really complete the entire skill. And